Alright, if you're back, you're back. The Knight of Swords again, and the High Priestess in reverse. I feel like this has happened for a long time to this person. There's something in their past that really hurt them. I want to see what it is. I just saw the Three of Pentacles in reverse. It has to do with their friends. I'm sure of it. I'm almost seeing a little child, okay, with glasses on. Who's nervous and wants to make friends. And they're trying their best, okay, but... Maybe some kids at the lunch table won't sit with them or something. That's what I'm seeing. It can always be scary to make new friends. And I feel like this person had a terrible experience. Maybe lasted, you know, a whole year of school. The Five of Cups. You see this capybara is swimming away from... An emotional, like a friend it used to know. The Two of Pentacles, the Page of Swords in Reverse, the Two of Wands. I feel like this person tried to make friends or they had to come back to the same group. It's very much like school I'm getting, like a class you go to and you can only go there or perhaps it's a work environment, but they tried to make friends with these people and it didn't work out as exactly as they expected to and instead of changing they stuck there and they just kind of curled up I want to see where you come in to this story for this person where is it that you come in the world card, the five of pentacles, the three of pentacles in reverse, that priestess. I feel like you've really shown your person. Wow. I feel like you've shown your person that they can be themselves and be introverted at the same time. That you don't need friends with the hermit and the three of pentacles in reverse, with the five of pentacles. You can play your part in a social group without needing to be friends with everybody you can still feel um yourself and be hopeful and have the whole world in your hands without needing to be somebody else's part of somebody else's group it's like taking the lead with this queen of swords here as well with the world this is what you're showing this person. I want to know when you came into this person's life. That was the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Six of Wands. Oh, it's the other way. Like this. I think that's right. You came to this person in a time of their life where they weren't as successful as they wanted to be and they didn't have as many places that they could call home. It's almost like this person was searching for some kind of stability, for some kind of friend. I'm really getting that. The Queen of Cups in reverse with the Seven of Swords. I've never had a reading tied to such amounts of friendship. This person could love you, okay? Not only because you're showing them this, but you could be a great, like, attractive, a great person. Though I'm getting this person would be more likely to acknowledge the attributes of you that are more uh, earthy, you know, grounded or technical because I feel like this person has that character. You could be very beautiful. This person was kind of an underdog. 
Perhaps you never saw this. I think you saw this person as a smart cookie. <laughs> That's. Let me know if that resonates, please. I don't think I've ever called anybody a smart cookie in my life. Though I've met a lot of them that I could have. I want to know what your your view has been of this person to help clarify this. Wow, the Tower and the Ten of Wands, the Eight of Cups in reverse, the Temperance, and the Moon. Mm. I feel like you're going with the flow, and you've tried to be very loyal to this person or be there to help them. I think you see them as um, with, with potential if they could just see what you saw. I think you see them as a sweet person, like they don't deserve this tower moment. because there is potential for them. Yeah. Even if you have been angry with this person, I feel like you can recognize that this person has a good side to them. You see them as very loving. And perhaps they calm you down too and help you solve situations of your own that you didn't see solutions to before. But you're seeing this person as having a difficult time sticking up for themselves. I can come up with questions all day for this person, but you're going to know better than I am exactly what you want to get nosy with. So if you let me know in the comments, I will ask those questions on my next reading. Let's see. Let's see what I get, and then I'll get some questions going off in the old wood st stove burner. <laughs> The Judgment in Reverse, the Nine of Swords, the Sun card, and the Queen of Cups. This person is having to abandon their old ideas, their old judgments. And I was getting judgment from the Nine of Swords, not the Judgment card. Their old things that they did that triggered their own anxiety. And their old patterns and ways of doing things they're letting in the sun okay they're letting a new sense of of uncertainty guide them because truthfully we can't be certain about anything in our outcome and this is like Spirit is saying with this devil card that this is exactly what's happening. Sometimes when I pull the devil, I get a message with the bobcat. Sometimes it's about um, evil or malice behavior. Sometimes it's uh, obsession or Capricorn energy. But the devil can also mean that it's amplifying the energy that's here, just like a white crystal. The first time I ever got a tarot reading from a friend in front of me, um, it was the first time I'd seen tarot cards. I pulled two cards, and the first one was the devil card. And that's the first thing I learned about tarot. It's telling me that this is like, this is bigger than you think it is for them. A bigger challenge for them to be able to let go of what they've been used to okay I'm gonna ask 
what it is exactly that this person is trying to overcome. They're looking for a new way to make educated decisions. And it has to do with the Ten of Swords and the Justice in Reverse. Things that they missed out on. This person could feel like if they were only themselves earlier that they could have had some beautiful opportunity with you. With all their friends in general. When they were left with decisions, it's almost like they didn't see a way to have what they wanted because they were afraid to start small. If you make big changes in your life, when things aren't going right, you have to be willing to start small. Yeah. This person, like, they couldn't even pretend. It's like this person doesn't have fire in their chart. Let me know. <laughs> the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. The Seven of Pentacles in general shows this young buck. And he's, he's standing in front of the other bigger bucks in the background. And the Seven of Pentacles isn't quite the ten, and it's sort of like a shifty unstable pentacles energy and it's so i've summed it all up as fake it till you make it and it's in reverse with the king of wands in reverse it's almost like this person couldn't imagine they couldn't visualize a positive outcome for themselves that's what this person is learning to change specifically their ideas on love, on what second chances they do give, what's fun for them, and who they want to build a life with. The two birds cards. It's crazy. It's telling me that this person wants a fun life, and they felt like they may have not had fun so far. I heard one of the biggest regrets of old folks is that they they didn't give themselves the opportunity to be themselves, to react how they wanted to react or show their true emotions. And it's really the same with all of us, no matter how old you are. It's really a lesson that can sneak up on you if you're not ready for it. This person is shifting into a more stable energy emotionally, in a sense. And they could be giving up some stability of what they expected their life to be, what they expected to invest in. It's like that's changing for the sake of their spirit. It's really a challenge just to be alive. You know, and this person was trying to, maybe they were idealizing the stable life a little too much before they prioritized their own emotions. Three of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. I, th I feel like this person is learning to be a little more carefree as an approach to making friends and connecting with love connecting with you it's like they don't it's like in doing that it's like that was the missing token for this person to be able to be the king of pentacles that they wanted to be to be that person it, it wasn't the things or the situations or the title it was the feeling inside that could come from that that would make them competent enough to let go of the Nine of Cups, their their fantasy and the dream and almost achieving it in order to become the Ten of Cups. It's like you're not a master until you admit 
and believe that you're not a master. And that's when you achieve greatness, is when you can let it go. Very perplexing lesson, and this person is hopping on it, my friend. Be careful. Bees with honey in their mouths have stings on their tails. Yeah. Uh, and adjust finances, make budgets to improve your standing. How curious. Whoever this person is, they've been so rigid, and I feel like you're shaking them up and loosening them up. Let me get one more... Um, question answered I want to answer I want to know if this person is coming toward you in the way that you want for many of you you could already be dating and you're just wondering what this person is going through or asking or waiting for them to ask you to marry them or to go study or something like that What is this person's intentions? Okay, the Nine of Wands. I think that they want to build something steady with you. They want you to be able to be there to help them go through these changes and to be less um less uh, materially oriented. This person is telling me that they won't feel as as challenged or burdened by life. Like they don't have to hide as much coming forward to you. So this person loves you. Those you're reading today, guys, please join me for another one.